Well, let's talk about the structure of the level one computer-based testing exam. And I know there were some questions about uh, whether questions are randomized or not. I didn't really know the answer either, so I uh, sent an email in and I got confirmation of what the structure uh, looks like in full. So I'll go through each uh, aspect. There are uh, two parts to the exam. As you know, there is an AM and there is a PM. In the AM, only specific topics are going to be tested, and they come in two functional areas. Functional area one is ethics and professional standards. Functional area two is referred to as tools. Here you'll be tested on quant, economics, and FRA, and I've given the weighting of each section at the far end. Here is the number of questions uh, per exam. Exam uh, AM, the AM version has 90 questions. 2 hours 15 minutes. Same with the PM, 90 questions, 2 hours 15 minutes. For the PM you have two functional areas as well. Functional area number three is portfolio management uh, and analysis and functional area four are the asset classes, equity, fixed income, derivatives, and alternative investments. This is how it's going to work. Questions within a functional unit are randomized. So we have functional unit number one, ethics and professional standards. Questions here will be randomized, which means uh, there'll be nothing but ethics questions. So when you first start the exam, the first group of questions you're going to get to are the ethics questions. They'll all be grouped together. Uh, functional area two, the tools, they'll all be randomized, which means you may get a quant question followed by an FRA, followed by a quant, followed by economics, followed by another economics, followed by a quant, etc. So they'll only be randomized within their functional area. When you get to the PM exam, functional area three is portfolio management analysis, where you have corporate finance and portfolio management. So you may have one from corporate finance, followed by one from portfolio management, followed by portfolio management again, followed by portfolio management again, then back to corporate finance, etc. They'll be randomized just within these two uh, uh, topic sections. And then when you get to the asset classes, since there are four, equity, fixed income, derivatives, and alternatives, in this functional area, all of these uh, will be grouped together and randomized. So you have an equity followed by alternatives, followed by fixed income, fixed income, derivatives, equity, etc. So it is, it is randomized, but it's not completely randomized. They're randomized within their functional areas. Uh, and... Uh, there we go. Uh, all of these are the weightings, uh, by the way. So if you want to know how many ethics uh, questions there are going to be, it's 15 to 20 percent of the exam. It's not 15 to 20 percent of 90. It's 15 to 20 percent of 180 because there are 180 questions on the exam, 180 Q, and ethics will make 15 to 20 percent of that. Anywhere from 15 percent up to 20 percent. So it's going to vary depending on uh, on how it's how they uh, structure it, but now we have ranges instead of uh, solid, solid numbers for each one. That's it.